there is uh, some sort of uh, of uh, play boundary in which it is opening up, it's diverging. You may have a little bit of tension there, but as you go deeper, the, the same weight of the rock is going to add always some compression uh, in the horizontal direction. Okay, so let me finish this, this story, and then this is the, the last thing that uh, I'm going to say for today. This classification is super important, and it's going to be very useful for uh, geomechanics, and especially for hydraulic fracture. Why? Because always a hydraulic fracture is going to open up as a plane perpendicular to the minimum principal stress. And this is because of energy. If you have three stresses, the three are different, why would you push against something which is higher, you can push against something which is lower? Always energy um, conservation uh, or the least amount of work principle will tell you that you should push against the lowest. And that's why hydraulic fractures always push against the direction of the lowest stress and they form as a plane uh, which is uh, perpendicular to the direction of the minimum principal stress. So let's put this in the context then of hydraulic fracturing. So uh, let's imagine that uh, we have a place in which you drill a wellboard and let's say that uh, for this particular place the conditions are, are such that this is normal faulting so NF would mean normal faulting and this is direction of SH mean this, of course SV and this direction of SH max and we're going to go a little bit further we're going to get more realistic and say that this is the north, this is the east and this direction down my question is if we build a horizontal wellbore and we place a hydraulic fracture starting from here what's going to be the orientation of that hydraulic fracture? it's going to be a, say again? Yeah. Vertical, okay, but, but what what else? And then open up. It'll be straight from north south. Straight north south. Striking north south. Striking north south, right? So let me draw that. I'm gonna try to draw this in three dimensions. And this is going to be the middle of the fracture, and this is going to be coming out from the plane of the board of the screen in this case. This is going to be that fracture. And it's going to be perpendicular to the minimum principal stress, which in this case is SH mean. In normal faulting, always the fracture is going to grow vertical. And the actual orientation in which it grows, like Stephanie was saying, in this case, the strike of this hydraulic fracture is north south. Because if you would look from the top, you will see a plane which is just going direction north-south. All right, let's move now to strike slip. And we are going to have a similar situation, but now uh, this is strike slip. This one is going to be SV. Uh, this one is going to be SH max, and this one is going to be SH min. We're going to drill another wellbore here and start hydraulic pressure here. Same question what is the orientation of the hydraulic pressure? Remember that now. 
now this is strike slip, which means that the maximum stress is horizontal, intermediate is vertical, and the least principal stress is horizontal. Any, any ideas, any suggestions? <coughs> So I'll give you a hint. Let me draw a cloud against this. That principle is going to hold all the time. Let's check these classes. Uh, we, we're still respecting this. What, what is the minimum principal stress in strike sleep? Still SH min, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be the same. Allergic fracture, as long as the intermediate stress is significantly higher than the minimum stress, uh, it doesn't care. It doesn't care about S2, just going to grow perpendicular to S3. So it's going to be the same. In strike slip, also, the hydraulic fracture is going to be a vertical plane. All right, so. Quick question. Yes. Because there is a difference in stress between the uh, strike slip and the room part. Yeah. Would the shape of the hydraulic fracture uh, change the, the general shape? Shape. As long as the intermediate stress, uh, which in this case is SB, yeah. in this case is S SH max, yeah. is significantly bigger than SH mean, or, or to be a little bit more precise, uh -huh. uh, the net pressure is not enough to get to the next stress, yeah. it should be the same. Okay. All right, so let's go for the last case, which is reverse faulting. I'm going to drill another well over here, and now the con stress condition is going to be, this one is going to be the lowest, uh, this one is going to be intermediate, and this one is going to be the largest. Uh, what is going to be the orientation of hydraulic fracture at this place? It's going to be horizontal, right? It's going to be coming out of the plane here. It's going to be something like that. It's going to be uh, like, uh, like a pancake. If I were to make a hydraulic fracture out of a vertical wellbore, it would be something like that. Again, coming out of the, um, of the plane of the of the screen. And in this case, a hydraulic fracture is going to be horizontal. It's not going to be the same as in the two other cases. And that's super important because sometimes uh, like again like in this particular case you may be providing a hydraulic fracture which is mostly vertical but you may get to some places in which hydraulic fracture is going to change direction and accommodate according to the local state of stress. Sometimes that might be good. For example, if you don't want your hydraulic fracture to grow to some particular place, but some other times it might be bad because probably you do want to go the hydraulic fracture to go or to cross a specific layer, and if it can, then you're going to you're not going to reach out to where uh, you want to reach. Um, all right. Okay, guys. I think uh, we're going to call it a day for today. And uh, Monday, we're going to talk about this PQ, uh, I1, J2, and the Morse circle. So don't worry about solving those now. Uh, we should be able to do it. But please start working on problem number two. You should be able to do problem number two. Uh, if you have... Uh, any questions, of course, you can ask me, or uh, I already uh, 
found a TA to help you out, uh, which is, uh, let me log in very quickly. Uh, so you can write an email, you know, it's very helpful. And I'll see you on Monday. So remember, from now on, we'll just be meeting on Monday and Wednesday. All right? Thank you. Thank you.